Hello, good morning and welcome to, we'll call it day one of our holiday, uh, as yesterday was travel day. So we're just about to leave the hotel now for our Disney hotel. And should we reveal the name of the hotel now? Um, no, huh? let's yeah. wait till we get there. Let's wait no. till we get there. Yeah. Wait till yeah, we, we get there. What should we do, Stu? Wait till we get there. Okay, we'll wait till we get there. We'll show you the hotel we're staying at at Disney today. So we need to check in super early because we need to get our magic bands to gain our park entrance and our free parking because one of the reasons why we booked this hotel in advance for a night, uh, we've got another one later on in the stay, is to take advantage of the extra magic hours, hence why we're going to Animal Kingdom today, it opens at 8. And also the free magic bands and the free parking for two days um, that we get for an overnight stay as well. And also because we love Disney um, hotels. We do like staying on site at Disney, don't we? Yeah. Check out Summer's cute, scrunchy. It's so cute, do a spin. Hmm, so we got that from Primark, didn't we, last week? So we were up really, really early this morning. Um, I think I woke up about quarter past three, was it, Stu? Um, and then we um, actually got up, me and Stu, about 4 a.m. Stu had a really bad um, car crash just outside the room on the I-4. Um, so that stirred Stu at about two in the morning. Hopefully everybody was okay in that, but it was some screech and a, a crash and a bang so um not good today's going to be a long one again but we're at disney so we're going to make the most of it aren't we to see the arches look we're going through the disney world arches for the first time this holiday you have to do a little squeal when you go through a little cheer you do i don't let you in if you don't do the cheer it's the law of disney <laughs> we're doing it anyway just as the car goes under, you have to let out your chair. Oh, I didn't take a photo. Oh. Woo! Time to eat here. So here's our hotel for the night. Disney's Art of Animation. That didn't take long, did it? After you pass through the Disney sign. <laughs> Just checking in at 6am. Just have So we're all checked in at Art of Animation. We've all got our magic bands. I've got yellow, some's got pink. pink. Unless you've got blue. So <laughs> it's got red. So our room's not ready just yet, so we're just gonna head over to the car now and then go to Animal Kingdom. Just pulling up at Animal Kingdom. It's quiet to say it's Easter Saturday, not too bad. And it's extra magic hours. They've got a new system in place now, so you don't actually get a parking permit anymore. They scan your magic band, which obviously makes much more sense and prevents any sort of fraud. Um, so we're just getting to the car park now. It's an extra magic hours day. The time is 7.05 and the park opens at 8. Oh, there's Expedition Everest. Can you see Expedition Everest? Yeah. And I can see, I see uh, Avatar as well. Exciting! Unicorn, sunset. Unicorn. Didn't yeah. know there was a. Are we going to be right down the end? Is this a good spot? No, we're not right down the end, but <laughs> it could be better. So we've just got into Animal Kingdom, and everybody's running for Pandora, and we're going for the safari. So hopefully, because it's cooler, the animals will all be away this time of the day. So as you can see in the background, everybody is running for Flight of Passage and it looks like we've got the whole park to ourselves otherwise. Um, so 
Uh, we're just gonna head over now for the safari and the park doesn't actually open for 20 minutes. So, might have to just wait a little bit and then we can get on that, okay? So we've just come off the safari and we had a really, really good experience. We saw the new baby giraffes and then some of the giraffes were running around chasing each other. We saw like these little animals hopping, didn't we? Yeah. And it was the, really cute. And the giraffes were so cute. We heard the lion roar. Uh, we got a really good view of the lion and the lionesses. My favourite was the African wild dogs. African wild dogs? Yeah. Okay. So we had the lion roar. We did, didn't we? It was a really good safari. Always recommend with the safari going on it when the park first opens, but it's a little bit cooler. Otherwise the animals tend to hide um, in the shade. So um, it's half past eight now, so we're halfway through the extra magic hours. And we're just gonna head over and see if we can get on Primeval World, one of Summer's favorite rides. Ellis hasn't been on it before because he's never been tall enough. So see if Ellis can get on it and we're gonna head last over to time, Dino Land. Last time I needed, needed one more inch. One more inch to grow? Yeah, I think he's definitely. Daddy's going on it. Go on. It doesn't, it's not that spinny. It's, nice spinny it's not that spinny, it hardly it's spins. Twice. You won't mind it. Yeah. Yeah. What's the name of it, Primeval? Well, but it not doesn't really primeval, well. Not well. It's it looks like you well. go big well. Not well. Do you know people? Go on, Stuart. Primeval is never here, right? I love that. Really? Ellis, do you want to go on the ride with me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll That picture is nice, isn't it? Look at you. Go on, he's gonna go on it. He's gonna go on it. Yeah. Yay! Daddy's going on for me for well. He's never been on it before. Hey, it's the first time for you as well, Alex. If I'm tall enough, I'm tall enough. Yeah, I think you will be. Let's let's get you measured and see if you are. What's the wait time? I can't see. Ten. ten. Oh, that'll be less than ten, I bet. Come on then, guys. Ellis, Ellis. Come on. I'm measured, I'm you can get measured. Yeah, you can go on it. Okay, that's fine. Yes, Alex, you're tall enough at last. So, no, you can clearly see you're tall now. You were just on the cusp though last year, so you've grown a lot. How do you feel about it, Stu? Are you nervous? It's done, is it? <laughs> yeah, I bet he was. <laughs> You're nervous. Why are you nervous? It's not scary. It's so fun. I'm going out with you, Daddy. I'm nervous. You're going to go and sit with Mummy? Yeah. You got a smile that makes the sun rise.
we've set our limit to a maximum of 40 minutes for dinosaur. Can you read what it says? 30? 20 minute queue for dinosaur! 20 minutes is good for this. My dinosaur, Ellis, was a bit scared on that one, weren't you, Ellis? He doesn't like the dinosaurs. It's really bumpy as well. It's a lot bumpy than what I remembered. It was smooth, smooth bumpy, but it was a bit bumpy along the way. Go and do your first fast pass. First pass, guys. Yeah, you can do it. Thank you, Summer. Can I head in through the open door and stop at the room? Thank you. And we have seen Kevin, I forgot what his name was then. And now we're just heading over to Pandora. We've got a fast pass on Navi River journey. And we're hoping to get something to eat. Hoping to go back to Satuli Canteen. So we've just arrived at Satuli Canteen now and Stu has gone in to get the mixed steak, well beef and chicken bowl. I'm having a sweet potato hash. Stu's undecided whether he wants a sweet potato hash or the noodles. Um, and I'm definitely going to go for the creamy herb dressing. I don't know what Stuart's going for, but this was our favourite quick service last year on the holiday. Um, we've just gone past Flight of Passage and the wait time is 210 minutes. Um, so we're not going to queue in that today. We have got a fast pass a bit later on in the holiday. Um, but shortly we've got another fast pass for Narvi River Journey. And um, we're going to try and find the kids something. I don't think there's anything here at Satuli Canteen which they're going to eat. Last year they tried the cheeseburger pods and the kids' quesadilla, but they didn't like it. So we'll have to try and find something that you'd like, won't we, Alice? Um, I want the snappers as well. And, um, Later on we are, if, yeah. If the queue's alright, um, maybe we can go on Primeval World. Maybe. So Stu's just bought the food back. What did you go for, Stu? Same as me. So we've both got sweet potato hash, the mixed combo bowl, which is beef and chicken, and you've got the creamy herb dressing as well. This is so, so good. So we've just finished off our lunch at Satuli Canteen. Um, it was really good, but I didn't enjoy it as much as last year. Um, there wasn't a lot of meat. Um, there was a lot of the sweet potato hash, which got a bit much after a bit. So um, for $17, I wouldn't recommend it. I believe the um, chicken or the beef on its own is about $11, I think Stu said. Um, so we're just finishing off here and then we're gonna head over. Unfortunately, Narvi River Journey has gone down. So we've had notification through the Disney Experience app. We can't go on it. So we've been substituted and can take a fast pass from a selection and I was hoping um, Flight of Passage would have been on that selection because it was in the top tier with um, Narvi River Journey but it's not which is a bit of a disappointment um, so we can go on anything but Flight of Passage here at Animal Kingdom today um, but to be honest if, if we'd have been given a fast pass for anything it would have been Narvi River Journey we've already done the best rides here really we've, we've already got a fast pass for Expedition every place so we don't need that and we've already done Primeval World, Safaris and Dinosaur so we're going to hold out and hopefully um, we will get Narvi River Journey back up and running. So um, we're just going to have, finish off our drinks here, um, get some sun cream on. It's a bit cool the weather today. I think it's about 20, highs of 23 today it said. Um, so it keeps going sort of chilly one minute, hot in, in the sun the next. 
So um, finish up here and then um, see what's going on with Navi. Um, just to give you an idea of cost as well here, um, Stu and I, as we said, had the chicken and beef combination bowl. Um, you can choose your own sides and dressing and it came to $36. We just got some ice waters. Um, so we bought a squeezy, um, like Robinson squash along with us. So $36, it was exactly the same amount as our steak and shake last night and that went around four ways, four milkshakes and four soft drinks, just to give you an idea of comparison about um, Disney costs versus off-site. So what are we going on there, Summer? Uh, we're going on Navi Running with the journey. River journey, um, really, really cute, um, quick, fast pass queue. But wasn't that impressed? Definitely pick quite a passage every single time over that one, wouldn't you? So now where are we heading? Get you some dinner. Uh, oh yes. So we have just come to Restaurant Tesaurus for our dinner. Well, lunch. Stu and I have already been to Chili Canteens. So we've just got the kids a chicken nugget adult meal to share. We get eight pieces um, with a large fries which we've halved. And the cost was how much did you say? Nine dollars? Ten dollars plus tax. Ten dollars plus tax. It was literally like about a dollar more than the kids meal which they get half a portion um, but a drink included. So we've just got some water again which we've added some juice to. And then it'll be time for our fast pass on Exhibition Everest. So the time has come. What time is it, Ellis? Expedition Everest. Expedition fast Everest. Time. Are you excited? Yeah, it's the last fast pass of the day. Last fast pass of the day, yeah. I'm gonna get back now after this, aren't we? Yep. Yeah.
wanna take a leap and jump in oh, oh, oh. We're gonna fall in Do you like it? It wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> Sana, do you like it? <laughs> oh. Yeah. There you go, you've done it again. Uh, we've just done our last fast pass on Expedition Everest and now uh, we're heading over to, back to the car park to collect the car. Oh, is it this way? Guys, this way. Get the car and then we'll be going over, checking into our room, unpacking and going in the pool, won't we? Out of animation. Yeah. Excited? Cool off. Are we going to do any filming in the pool? Uh, I don't know. I think we've bought the GoPro, ah. so. So it's really um, heated up now. It was a bit cooler earlier. The temperature kept going hot and cold depending on whether the sun was out and the winds and it was quite high. It's gone really, really hot now. So it's good timing though for our time around the pool for this afternoon. So we're back at Art of Animation now and we have been allocated room 7529. So we're just trying to suss out where it is and then we'll show you the room once we get in. Do you want to scan it, Summer? Go on then. You've done it. Oh, sorry. Is it cool? Oh, look. It's really cute. So we've just got in the room and we've got two shell beds. Mirror. Oh, look at the picture of Eric and Max on the wall. And then the shower curtain is pretty cool. Oh no, it's not the shower curtain, it's the curtain that separates the... Um, yeah, the put the light on. Mm. Nice mirror. That's like Ursula's mirror, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. It's like Ursula. Oh, look at that. And it's leave that, mate. So, oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice to say this is like the standard room. Just saw a massive snake crossing the path, but a bird got it and shooed it away. Pecked it, yeah. Everyone was like waiting for the snake to move, and the bird come along, pecked it, and it slivered off. Here's the direction. So, just heading over to the Lion King section now. Um, hopefully, we'll find the big blue pool that's called, isn't it? in the room now after an afternoon around the pool uh, we went around the big blue pool at the art of animation resort the kids spent the whole time pretty much two hours solid in the water uh, there wasn't a lot of sun loungers that were free so Stu and I pulled up a table and chairs had some drinks and just 
enjoyed the sunshine this afternoon. So we've just come back to the room, freshened up, um, kids have got dried off and we're about to go for dinner this evening and do a bit of shopping, um, possibly down Disney Springs, um, possibly get down to Walmart for some supplies. Um, and we're eating at Applebee's this evening, which I'm quite excited about. The menu looks really good and it's not somewhere that we've been to before. So we've just arrived in Applebee's. Um, we've just placed our order. Uh, Summer, you have gone for pizza and fruit, haven't you? And so has Ellis. Stu, what have you ordered again? Eight and so with mac and cheese and fries. Okay, and I have ordered um, a parmesan steak with fries and some garlicky green beans. So looking forward. I've got some drinks as well. Got a really nice um, blackberry lemonade. Some's got chocolate milk. Stu, what did you go for? Oh, Pepsi. Thought it was Dr. Pepper. And Ellis has got an apple juice at Applebee's. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah. What's that? It's triple chocolate. Triple chocolate meltdown. Daddy's interested in that. So the food's just come and it smells so good. Some of yours looks good, doesn't it? It's like on a little tortilla. Joe's got his mac and cheese for his mac and cheese the holiday. Ellis, you hungry? You see them? So we've just ordered a dessert and um, the server recommended the butter pecan blondie. Um, she did say most people share it, but Stuart didn't want to share because he didn't want it. So Stuart's gone for the triple chocolate meltdown. Um, the kids have got a frozen treat included with their food, so we'll show you the desserts when they arrive. That go. Yeah. Sizzling, isn't it? So we've just finished in Applebee's and really, really enjoyed it. Did you like it, Stu? Did you rate it? Yeah, it was nice food. Not Good food. Cheapest. No, it wasn't that cheap. Um, I would, I would rate my steak was really nice. Stu's steak was a bit undercooked for Stu's liking. He asked for it medium and it came more like rare. Um, huh? I would rate it six and a half. Six and a half, is that all? I'm going. Go to the wrong car. A ten? Yeah. Oh, I've gone to the wrong colour car. I'm still half asleep. I've been up since 3am. So, time's now. What time is it? 7.45. Um, so, we're just getting in the car now. And um, we've decided we're going to knock um, Disney Springs on the head and just go to Walmart. Have a look around there for some supplies. And this is so excited. He's been excited. Since we booked this holiday about going to Walmart and Target, haven't you, Alice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so um yeah we had so i had a blackcurrant lemonade summer had a chocolate milk ellis had Black apple juice oh, yeah. and Stu had a diet coke um Stu and i had the steak meals each the kids had pizza each and they had a free sherbet rainbow ice cream dessert summer loved it ellis didn't so the lady was very kind and bought him out an alternate of some ice cream um, I had a really nice, um, it's like a pecan caramel skillet, really good. And Stu had a, like, was it like a chocolate brownie sort of cake? Triple chocolate meltdown. Yeah, what does that consist There's of? There's a chocolate cake with a uh, runny chocolate centre. Okay. Um, an ice cream, yeah. And all of that came to... Da, 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 da. With, the, with or without a tip? Before tip. $75. $75 so not not loads but um, not the cheapest of meals but I did really enjoy it I had some really nice shrimp on my steak and the fries the um, the green beans were supposed to be garlicky I wouldn't say that I noticed any sort of coating flavor on them but overall I would recommend Applebee's currently just in Walmart and Ellis is on the hunt for Ryan's Tory view. Yeah. So Ellis has just found. Just you've just got the last Ryan's egg, haven't you? Yeah. He's done a mini mystery egg. Yeah, that one's a mini mystery. 
They're cheap compared to my phone. And last one. One here. So this Ryan's it. egg here cost nine eighty four. Back home, how much is that? I thought it was twenty pounds. This twenty pounds. Well. You yes, want that? This one's well. No. What this said? You can, but don't you want to see if they've got anything else in other places? Yeah, we're we'll looking in other places. I'll just get these things. Well, that's all they have got, mate, so that is all you've You sold them out, Ellis, now. <laughs> You're happy now you found something? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? That'll keep that them entertained. <laughs> 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 never been to Walmart before, it's the biggest supermarket you'd ever imagine. It's nothing like the Tesco superstores you've got here, back home. It's absolutely humongous. We're just going to have a look around now and see what we can find that we can't get back home. So we've just got back from our shopping trip to Walmart. Um, we were so tired because of being awake in the middle of the night that we decided to just get a couple of little bits that we wanted and maybe go back another time to get some other stuff so I'll just show you what we bought so we bought some sugar cookies they're really good we've had these in some of the Disney restaurants Ellis you got a Ryan's World toy didn't you that you've been after yeah. like a helicopter toy and you also got a Ryan's World egg Alice got a Hot Wheels car that he wanted I got a lanyard for work, just from Walmart. Just a Disney one, to, um, so I can wear it with my work pass. And we got a kids Mickey poncho, in case it rains. Hopefully we won't be needing these, but it's a good investment for the future anyway. Mini one. Oh, the, the ponchos were 3 97 each. And then we got the kids to choose a packet of sweets each. So Summer had chosen the big sour packets. And Ellis decided on some Haribo snakes. So thanks for watching today. We hope you've enjoyed our first day here. Uh, tomorrow we're heading to Hollywood Studios. We've got a few fast passes booked, um, including Alien Saucers. Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night.